Hey everyone, happy Thursday and welcome back to my channel. I am here for review number two of the day. Today we started getting into some Kringle Candle Halloween reviews as I continue my Halloween extravaganza for the reviews for candles. We've got a lot of Halloween candles to get through and this one is the fourth one so far. This is called Candy Corn from Kringle Candles Halloween release from this year. I believe that this one has been out before. This is not the first year that we've seen this one. Um, I'm a bit newer to Kringle. Um, I started purchasing from them in December of last year. So I've actually never gotten to experience Halloween with them. So this was one that I picked up. Um, I'm not always huge on Halloween and I'm very open about that. And sometimes it can be scary to buy these big jars blindly for $30. It's a lot of money. And then to not even know if you're going to like the scent, it was, you know, a little bit scary. But this one, I was like, I think I can buy this one and I'll be okay because I love candy corn. And who doesn't, to be honest, like if you don't like candy corn, let me know down in the comments below because I want to see if anyone actually doesn't like candy corn because that would be funny. But um, anyways, I actually have some candy corn with me. Um, I'm going to talk about this in a second. So do you recognize this jar? I'll just talk about it now. Do you recognize this jar that I put my candy corn in here? So this is actually a Kringle candle jar that I repurchased or sorry, not repurchased, repurposed for um, candy corn. So you kind of just like clean up the jar. Um, I send mine through the dishwasher. You peel off the label, you take the sticker off the bottom, and then you could use them as drinking glasses or, you know, to hold different things in your bathroom or like I'm doing to hold candy corn or like a little sweet treat. They're just really, really nice. These are nice glasses and I hate to just throw them away. So I usually keep these and find a way to repurpose them. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a repurchase or repurposing one on one video on how you can repurpose different candles. Um, Cause I think that that would be a fun video to do. I might have to do a video on that. But yeah, so we are talking candy corn from Kringle Candle. Let's start with the scent description. So the description on Kringle's website says, who can ever pass up that tri-colored Halloween candy? Nobody. Here's our take on the classic creamy vanilla, honey and light spice that bedevils every autumnal sweet tooth. The top notes are rich caramel, golden honey and butter, mid notes of sweet praline, nutmeg and cinnamon and then base notes of creamy vanilla and toasted almond so i just had some of this candy corn and this candle really does do a good representation of the candy corn it really gives you that sweet buttery honey scent it's really really nice you get the caramel you get that praline i know i've said this before i love pralines they're one of my favorite treats and you just really get the butter and the honey and you, you get a little bit of spice from this one. I don't get too much. It has notes of nutmeg and cinnamon. I do get like a bakeriness from that nutmeg, but not too much spiciness. Of course, the creamy vanilla and then a little bit of nuttiness from that toasted almond just to sweeten it up. But yeah, this is a really, really delicious scent. And I knew I could count on this one being good because it smells just like candy corn, you know, that buttery, sugary, sweet treat. So I think this one is perfect. I love the label, isn't it so um, nice? These labels are always so, so good. Um, they did do like a black jar this year, so you can't really see that this one is actually lit up, but it is, um, I'll show you guys right here. It is lit up. Um, sorry, I'm in like an odd position right here. It's kind of a small space. <laughs> There you go. So this shows the wax pool. This one's about halfway done. And if you're wondering, I got both of these from Hobby Lobby. Um, let me try and put my camera back. This is like a very small area right here that I'm in. It's in the kitchen. <laughs> it's very small though, so it's hard to film over here. But um, so other than the scent, the performance is doing really, really well. As always, you guys know me and Kringle always have good experience. Um, clean burn. I burned this one for like eight hours the other day and it was fine. Mick Kittredge has said you can burn this one for a long time 
and it's a clean burn. There's no soot, nothing happens, and you really don't have to babysit these Kringle ones. Um, compared to like Bath and Body Works, I would not be able to leave it burning for that for that long because that would be a major issue. The wicks would go out, the um, tunneling would start up, and so it would happen. It would just be a disaster, but I can always count on these Kringles to do really, really well. So um, the throw for this one is a little bit light for me. I'm going to give it like a four. I do wish it was a little bit stronger, but I feel like the candy corn scents and like sweet sugary scents are always hard to get a good throw from just because they're like sweet bakery like vanilla is always a bit of a lighter throw and I think that that must be a really hard note for the candle companies to incorporate into getting a large throw that you can smell so um I would like this one to be a bit stronger but I really just like the ambiance that these bring I think you can definitely smell it it's just not super super strong so um beautiful delicious scent just wish it had a little bit more throw so yeah um these are not currently available on the kringle website they are sold out and they may come back next year but there is no guarantee for that um so i will say that wait this one is sold out yeah th this is sold out some of the other kringles though that are still in stock are on sale for the halloween stuff I know that they have a lot of country jars left, so go check those out if you want to get those because they are on sale, I think, for like $21. So go check that out, but I am going to link it below down in the comment box, or sorry, the description box, just in case you want to check out the scent notes or the reviews on this one. Um, I will link it down below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give me a subscribe and a like. So. You can help me support my channel and comment down below if you have this candle. Let me know your thoughts on it. Check out the other review of Kringle that I just did. If you missed it, it is the, um, what is that one called? Shoot, why am I forgetting the name? Graveyard Night, that's what it's called. Go check out Graveyard Night review if you forgot that. I have so many candles, I forget the names of them. But go check out that one if you did miss it. Thanks so much for watching. I will be back tomorrow with a Kringle Candle haul. So more Kringle Candle. We've actually got some Christmas. So we're switching between seasons here. But thanks so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.